I want to use to thank everyone and to thank the authorities for this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful opportunity to lead prayers. And my prayer is that in the name of Jesus, as we have gathered, God will meet us at the point of our need in the name of Jesus. And Amen. God surpass our expectations in the mighty name of Jesus. And so we open today's prayers in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Can we just lift up our voice and begin to exalt the name of the Lord? Let's begin to worship our God, our Maker. Our God is good. He is worthy of all our praises. He is worthy of all the worship. He is worthy of all the adoration. I worship just want to lift up our we worship the Lord. We worship the Lord. We worship the Lord. Thank you. 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 Thank him for the good Thank him for the good news. Thank him for the good Thank him for the Thank him for the good Thank him for the Thank him for the good Thank him for the good news. Thank him for the Thank him for the good 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 we don't take you for granted, oh God. Holy Spirit, we are not familiar with your moves. Holy Spirit, we refuse to be familiar with your power. And so, Lord, we honor you. We use this special moment to honor you. We use this moment to reverence your holy name. We use this moment to adore you. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we praise you. Father, we honor you. Father, we glorify you. To so you be all this. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. I want to read a scripture. The word of God says in Psalm 47, verse 7. Psalm 47, verse 7. For God is the king of all the earth. Sing praises with understanding. For God is the king of all the earth. Sing praises with understanding. We are a youth, we are a ministry that operates in understanding. So let us begin to worship God. Sing your own song, say your own words of appreciation unto the Lord with understanding that our God is supreme. There is none in God's capacity. There is none in God's class. There is none that can do that which only God can do. And so Lord, we worship you. Thank you for what you are set to do in today's ministry. Lord, we are been our prayer gathering today lord we have gathered in your name we know that you will you will answer our prayers lord we have gathered in your name we know that we will see results of these prayers lord we have gathered in your name we know that our prayers will bear fruit to different families to different individuals so we ourselves we know that we are praying Lord, we thank you. We glorify you. We honor you. We give you the Lord. As we honor you. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, King of Glory, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord. As we honor you. You are wonderful. You are wonderful. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we worship you in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for what you have done in the past. We thank you for what you are doing now. We thank you for what you said to do. Future. Lord, we give all the praise. Thank you for doing 
Mm-hmm. For what you are set to do tomorrow in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because the agenda of heaven is what will manifest in today's prayer meeting. Thank you, Lord, because the will of God is what will manifest in today's prayer meeting. Thank you, Lord, because we are praying the desires of the Holy Spirit today concerning our youth and young adults, concerning CSC as a whole. Father, we give you all the praise. Father, we give you all the glory. Father, we give you all the honor. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. God says that if we confess our sins, our God is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us come before the Lord asking for mercy, not just of ourselves. Let's include our ministry. Lord, have mercy on our church. Have mercy on us. So God, wherever we have wronged you, wherever we are falling short of your glory, through our words, through our thoughts, through our actions, is this knowingly or knowingly, Lord, have mercy upon us in the name of oh, Jesus. Let's God. begin to ask for mercy. mercy tonight and the for your mercy, Lord, 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 Amen. Mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Life, our life is characterized by seasons and stages. Seasons and stages. The word of God says in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, to everything there is a season. And in today's session, we will be prayerfully uh, talking about the season of new beginnings. You are going to lift up your voice and you will say, my father, my maker, any stage in my life, any stage in my ministry, any stage in my destiny, where I am behind time, where I am behind time, in the name of Jesus, we receive dominion by speed and restoration. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us begin to pray. Father, we pray. Any stage in my life, any stage in my destiny, any stage in our ministry, where we are we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Already in the eighth month of the year, and eight is a spiritual symbol for new beginning. Is a spiritual mark for new beginning. The word of God says in Isaiah chapter 43, verse 19, popular scripture, Isaiah chapter 43, verse 19, behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness Mm -hmm. and rivers in the desert. If this scripture, it tells us that God in the supremacy and in his creativity, he can never run out of strategies to do a new thing in our life. He can never run out of ways to do a new thing in our life. So we are going to lift up our voice and we'll say, my father, my maker, 
according to your word. Lord, do a new thing in my life. According to your word, the integrity of your word, the authority and the promise in your word. Lord, do a new thing in my life. In the name of Jesus, let's begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, according to the authority and promise in your word, in the name of Jesus, Lord, you can never run out of ways. to do new things in our destiny. Lord, you can never run out of ways to do new things in our ministry. You can never run out of ways to do a new thing in our lives. You can never run out of ways to do a new thing in our lives. And so, Father, you new things in our lives. New promotion, new protection, Lord, new life, new extension. Don't do it. Don't do Jacob manifesting his name was already a deceiver. He and his mother plotted to take away the birthright of Esau. And Jacob ran away and eventually met his uncle Laban. That was his match. Eventually, Jacob decided to secretly leave Laban. And he went, he was trying to go back to his father's land. And then something happened to kickstart a new beginning. He had a life-changing encounter. The word of God says in Genesis chapter 32, I will read from 24 to 28. Now Jacob was left alone and he wrestled a man until the breaking of the day, 25. And when he saw he had prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his tie and the hollow of Jacob's tie was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, let me go for the day break it. And he said, I will not let you go except thou bless me. And he said unto him, what is your name? And he said, Jacob. And then the angel said, thy name shall be no more called Jacob, but Israel, for as a prince has power with God and with men and has prevailed from the scripture, one of the keys that ushers us into new beginning is an encounter. In simple terms, an encounter is an event, a spiritual event that will crystallize, that will solidify the reality and the possibility of God in our life. We are going to cry for an encounter that will offer us to a new beginning. You are going to say, my father, my maker, give me an encounter that will take me to a new season, a new season of revival, a new season of awakening, a new season of rising, a new season of acceleration, a new season of favor. Lord God Almighty, give me an encounter in the name of of Jesus, let's begin to pray. Father, according to the name of Jesus, Father, we pray for an encounter. We pray for an encounter. We take you to a new season. Father, to your word. Father, to your word. Oh God, give me a new season. A new season. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, 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 the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, give me an encounter that will take me to a new season. Yes, Lord, give me an encounter, an encounter, my life, 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 Amen. 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 Jacob said, I will not let you go. That is desperation unless you bless me. Another key to new beginning, another key to enter a new season, it is desperation. We are going to demand by prayer that there be a 
received in Christ's apostolic youth ministry. We are demanding by prayer a prophetic shift, a prophetic shift in the name of Jesus. We shall see giants rising in prayer. We yes. shall see giants rising in the word. Yes. We shall see giants rising in evangelism. Yes, a prophetic, a prophetic shift in yes, Christ's apostolic church youth yes, ministry yes, in the Lord. mighty yes, name of Lord. Jesus. Yes, Begin to yes, decree Lord. and declare, Father, we demand by prayer a prophetic shift in CAC North America in the name of Jesus. Every ministry under the umbrella of CAC, we decree a prophetic shift, a new beginning. Father, we are desperate and by prayer we demand a prophetic shift in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we decree new beginnings. Lord, we decree new beginnings. Lord, we decree new beginnings in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we demand, we demand, we demand, we demand a prophetic shift in our churches, a prophetic shift in our fellowship, a prophetic shift in our Bible study, a prophetic shift. We refuse to remain the same, not in this season, Lord. We refuse to remain average, not in this season, Lord. We refuse to remain powerless, not in this season, Lord. We refuse to remain lukewarm in the name of Jesus. We decree a prophetic shift. Amen. Another biblical character that enjoyed new beginning is Joseph. After being sold into slavery by his brother, locked up in prison, now he had a gift, the gift of dream interpretation. He interprets the dream of the cup bearer and the wine bottler. Dreams actually come to pass. Unfortunately, that cup bearer forgot him and it cost him two years. Now Pharaoh has a strange dream and he can't understand or interpret it. The cup bearer remembers Joseph, ah, and now recommends Joseph to Pharaoh. They bring Joseph and he interprets the, uh, Pharaoh's dream. And he tells Pharaoh that Egypt will experience seven years of plenty and then famine afterwards. Because of that accurate interpretation, he gave Egypt a strategy of survival. And this is what Pharaoh says. This is Genesis chapter 41, verse 40. He says, you shall be in charge of my palace and all my people are to submit to your orders. Only with respect to the throne, I will be greater than you. So Pharaoh said to Joseph, I hereby put you in charge of the whole land of Egypt. Mm. Then Pharaoh took his signet ring from his finger and put it on Joseph's finger. Now dressed him in robes of fine liners, put a gold chain around his neck, and he made him to ride in the chariot as the second in command. This was a defining moment that ushered Joseph into new season. We are going to pray. Our ministry is filled with giftings, filled with talents, filled with grace. Now we are going to pray that what God has given us, it will turn things around 360 in the mighty name of Jesus. You are going to pray, you will say, my father, my maker, Lord, uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the talents, the graces in our ministry, let them begin to usher us to a season of new beginning, new beginning. Every destiny connected to our ministry must benefit from our gifts. Every destiny connected to our gifts must benefit. Every youth and young adult must benefit in the mighty name of Jesus. Not every gifting in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in our ministry, they offer us a season of healing. Mighty 
Amen. Amen. Joel chapter 2, verse 28. The spiritual climate in North America is very tense. When it comes to revival, it is very tense. There is something that is erupting in the gates of North America. The word of God says in Joel chapter 2, verse 28, it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. When there is the spirit of God, when there is an outpouring of the spirit of God, it is the hallmark of new beginning. The frogs, the zenith of new beginning. Now we are going to decree, Father, let there be a fresh outpouring of your spirit. A fresh outpouring in the name of Masu Kandi Bruce Kandu Yaba, in the mighty name of Jesus, our calling of your power, mighty name of the Lord, of our Lord, of our Lord, of our Lord. No, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in my last prayer. It is possible to miss out on the season of new beginning. We will never be like Jacob because he said the Lord was in this place and I knew I not. Know. It's an unfortunate situation that the Pharisees and the Sadducees reading the Torah, preparing, studying, going to the temple at the third hour, sixth hour, studying about a certain Messiah. And then when the Messiah came, they failed to recognize him. We are That's going so to pray that, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we will not miss our Kairos moment of new beginning. We will not miss God. We refuse. We will not miss it. We will not miss our Kairos moment of new beginning. In our churches, in our families, in our ministries, in our career, in our destiny. We refuse to miss the Kairos moment of new beginning. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, we will not miss you to God. God. We refuse, we, we refuse to miss out on our kind of moments of beginning. In the mighty name of Jesus, we refuse to miss In the mighty name of Jesus, we to grace to be sensitive. We grace to descend. We cannot miss our moments. We cannot miss our seasons of new beginnings. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. And so, Father, I pray the name of Jesus. Lord, you said, behold, I will do a new thing. Father, let that grace of new thing rest upon our head in the mighty name of Jesus. I say, let it rest upon our head. Let it rest upon our head. Let it rest upon our head. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, by your word and by prophecy, we command a spiritual shift in the temperature in our churches, in our ministries, in our fellowships, in the name of Jesus. In the foundation and the Share in his presence, the year in yes, his Lord. presence program. Yes, Lord. Lord yes, Lord. Prophesy, it is the Ma moment of new beginning. In, in the name, name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Christ of Catholic Church will not be a small ministry. We Amen. grow from glory to glory. Ma from grace to grace in the name in of the Jesus. Name of a Jesus. Of the Holy Ghost yes, of God. Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Be glorified. Yes, Lord. But yes, in Lord. Jesus' mighty, precious name, we have prayed. Seven amen. Amen. Amen.